I'm about to load the Baconator up. Uh, as you can see, we got the generator, the water tank that I put to like three quarters full. I didn't want to top it off. I didn't want it to weigh too much. Uh, but yeah, RV, Baconator, let's load this thing up and we should be good to hit the road. Yep, this is the loadout. I know that the rear placement of the truck is super questionable, but I'm trying to keep as much weight off the tongue as possible just to make it a smooth ride. Um, and I really am not looking forward to losing a rear tire, knock on wood. Um, but yeah, we should be good to hit the road. I'm gonna click the cruise on 52 the whole way there. Uh, it's getting a little bit later in the day, so after, in like an hour or two, there'll be like no traffic on the highway anyway, so yeah, here we go. Oh my god. Well, while I was loading, AJ got the new diff in, new axles in. Do you know the ratio? Yeah, it's a 373. It's a 373? Yeah. Sick. See you in a week or whatever. Yeah, I'm fucking good for Lock City, so. You mean Lebanon? Yeah, same shit. Safe yeah, trips, bud. Yeah, is there. I'll be sure to send you tons of pictures. All right, now for this fun game. 463 out here. Uh, the truck's like three quarters full. Uh, I'm gonna use that up in Maine to like go get gas and go get food and stuff. That's why I wanted to bring the Baconator. Um, if the roads are nice and maintained, next time I come up, I'll just bring the Focus and save gas, but I wanted four-wheel drive, welded front, welded rear. You guys know the drill. Uh, there's Carlos barking up a storm, but yeah, I'm fully expecting to spend about five, six hundred dollars in gas one way right now, which is painful, but you know, that off-grid life, got the generator. Still going, still going. And I still gotta fill the generator and a couple gas cans too. But I spent 200 bucks on gas before leaving town. I fucking love their signs. The way life should be. Man. Oh. Got the little camp set up over there. But I just took delivery of the sick rental excavator um, from the same site that you guys saw in that other video where I was talking about renting an excavator or having one of you guys' if your dad's got one. Um, but yeah, I got a rental excavator and it's at the bottom of the driveway here. So I'm gonna take a hike down here. Uh, I got a lot of work to do here, as you can see. It's uh, pretty overgrown and like all this like X logging bullshit, I wanna clean all that up. Uh, get the carbon fiber weed whacker up here, clean some of this up, but yeah, super stoked. Uh, instant mood booster being out here. I highly recommend. I know it's not for everyone, the off-grid life, yada, yada, yada. It's tough for people that are very used to the city, I guess, but in this situation, how do I word it? Like, I'm trying, not trying to become harder and like macho, like gym kind of guy, but like more hardened to like, I want to be super comfortable in uncomfortable situations. Like if it's too hot out and I have no AC, comfortable. If it's too cold out and the heat is shit, comfortable. Like I want to be comfortable in situations where people hate it. So that's why I'm out here. And especially with everything going on in the world today, I think for me personally, it's a super important skill or like mental, I don't even know what to call it, but I think it would be very useful to, uh, I don't know, become more used to the elements outside. It's, I think it's a mini excavator, but as you can see, it's pretty big. Uh, heat, AC, radio, the whole nine. Uh, the guy gave me a tutorial on what to grease. There's like a bunch right there, 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 there. Uh, that one right there greases that. And then there, 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 there. So now you guys understand why I got the Milwaukee electric grease gun, so. Yeah, let's hop in this thing and fire it up. Dude, rabbit is slow as fuck. I'd be pissed if I had to ride this anywhere else. This is sick. I'm gonna knock that tree down because it's fucking hanging over my driveway. All right, this, it's hard to film. I should have put the chest cam on, but I was too excited. All right, so this tree right here has got to go. Uh, you know what? I'll do that. I'll do that after. Uh, I'll do the tree after. I'm going to put the GoPro chest cam on, but I'm just trying to get this back up to camp here. And then I'm going to park.
market because uh, diesel is fucking stupid expensive right now. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and fucking let's do it. Let's do it one handed. This is stupid, but all right. Up with this. Holy shit, that's got a lot of force. Okay, let's do. Let's put that back on turtle. Maybe dial that back a smidgen. All right, so I'm gonna just try to grab it. This is sick. Oh my god, the rotating is so fun. All right. Uh, how do I get the boom out more? None of those. This is pretty difficult with one hand, just saying. But, oh my goodness. Oh god, the boom is so far extended. Yeah, I'm gonna watch like some tutorials on how to do this shit. All right, let's go forward a little bit. I'm literally going forward, but looking out the side. Yeah, I don't think that tree's coming down the way that I thought it was. Should I try to grab it with the thumb? Or should I stop fucking with it for now and put the chest cam on so I can concentrate on actually driving this thing? Nope, see, I don't want to crack a window. I'm gonna sign a fat agreement for this thing. Oh my god, oh my god, way too fast, way too fast. I don't know how to pull the boom back in. Like, what am I doing with my life right now? Oh, that's, it's this right here. I'm like, trying to just curl it. Pick it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, we're in the case. 57C or whatever the fuck. I'm gonna just go around. I don't wanna even touch the glass of this machine with that fucking branch. It's kind of fucking hot in here. How do I turn this AC? Oh, it already is on. Let's see. Oh, that's AC. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that off for now. We'll we'll readdress that. Uh, but yeah, I have the I rented it for a while, so you guys, um, I don't know if you guys are gonna fuck with this content, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because I'm trying to put like cabins and shit down here. Uh, so for the next, I don't know how many days, 30, 40 days, you guys are gonna be seeing nothing but excavator content, for me at least. Obviously the boys are still at the shop. Uh, Jazzy's still working on his S13. All right, too slow, too slow. clip here uh, put the chest cam on I got to set up the jewel cut um, I got to set up some solar panels and stuff uh, but yeah if uh, you guys like this kind of content which I'm sorry to say but it's you're gonna get it either way uh, yeah like comment subscribe um, buy a shirt and uh, we'll see you in tomorrow's video I will put the chest cam on I promise I, I'm just trying to like eat lunch and shit and uh, yeah, hit a quick shower in the Julka, and then shut this door, put the AC on, and I promise in tomorrow's video, we'll get right back into, well, I'm gonna like mess around a little bit, figure out like really how to use this thing without filming, and then, yeah, that's what you guys will see tomorrow. Today is just, oh, idle that down. 1,000 RPM. So uh, today is just a uh, like learning day tutorial on how to just use this thing and not die or flip over because as you can see, I'm s still super jerky with it. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not gonna lie, this is my first time ever using a machine like this. Like the Mahindra is not even close to like moving this a little too aggressively. You're like fucking about to flip the thing. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna just take a couple minutes, learn how to use it settle down for a minute and yeah we will see you guys on tomorrow's video hopefully knocking some trees down and digging some shit up but yeah let me get, i want like the rest of the day to myself today so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed um once again if you got i'm not i can't even sell anyone on moving to maine because it's so much of a lifestyle change for people that like I, look at this you guys fucking with that like who's actually trying to come out here and live here other than me uh, but yeah, I want, like I said, before winter, 
just reliable toilet, reliable shower, reliable like cabin, something. Uh, but yeah, I don't live here. This is like my little like get out of town, bug out location. Uh, but yeah, long winded outro, I'm sorry. I, I'm stoked right now. I don't know what else to say or do. I think you guys could probably feel the energy through the video because I'm having, this is amazing.